have to tone down as well and we'll do that right now bring that bring that there 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 way to get away uh, a way of going into uh, detail is to do it as fast as you can and get the brush stroke down there quickly and it gives more of a, uh, a spontaneous look you know so what if it's crooked or whatever at least it's you know it's not boring oops that's a little too light and the only way you can tell whether a, especially when you got a paint on the canvas I mean on the I keep referring to it as a canvas but paint on the palette is to uh, is to get the paint from here to there as quickly as possible and see how it works you know to try to to try to solve your problem of how light or dark it's going to be by spending a lot of time mixing on the on the uh, on the uh, palette it's easy get something close that approximates the uh, the value and then if you're lucky boom you might hit it right off the bat but if you're not at least you know what you have to do next I've seen you know some of my students I've seen even you know professional artists that just keep mixing and mixing and mixing it until they think they hit the value and then they put it up there and it's totally uh, totally bogus so don't waste a lot of time just get it up there and see what happens see what kind of what how close you are or how far away I'm gonna pull this stuff out here a little bit more it's kind of a nice greenish gray that that pulls out the uh, pulls out the architecture so I'll work on that section and I get that by by mixing um, mixing some yellow ochre with green hit it with a little bit of Naples yellow and then maybe with a little white and again I'm not gonna yeah, that's pretty close it's a subtle change that I want to see there it's something that's not too big a jump but it's you know it makes the shadow area or the this area of the painting more interesting I think rather than just have one flat tone have something that's almost the same value uh oh the sax man is in the uh, public garden <laughs> he's funny guy plays the saxophone all the songs that you don't want to hear I tell you about the guy that Bob did I tell you about the guy that you know the kids put money in this fountain here this little did I tell did I mention that on the show before no anyway uh, I don't want to just a guy that hangs around you know and I was painting and nice little kitties throw their pennies and stuff in the water and and make a wish and then when the coast is clear, he rolls up his pants and jumps in. Every day, this guy's making a living on fishing, because you'll never see coins there. He's the, he's the bottom feeder. <laughs> the the so sweep. The wish doesn't count then, huh? No, it doesn't. He null, the wishes are null and void. I guess the kids would wish he had maybe drowned. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> it's kind of funny. He was doing it once, and I go, hey! <laughs> And he came, came to attention, you know. And but he kept on, uh, kept on going. Anyway, another, another little uh, useless bit of trivia. Hey, you remember Frank, Frank Allison? You remember Frank well, from from years ago? Uh, Frank was really, really wanted to paint outdoors, and we started bringing him with us, you know. We were part of the Canton Art Association, so we came into, into the city, I think it was on a, on a Sunday, and it was a day like this, it was beautiful. And Frank says, I, can, I don't think I can do it, I don't think. I said, well, set yourself up on the side of the road, on the side of the path there, and uh, get back into the bushes, you know, and kind of paint what's in front of you. So he did, you know. Uh, I'm over here doing the uh, George Washington statue, and he, and he's over in the on the uh, diagonally across from me. And all of a sudden, I notice his 
I, first there's about three people behind him. They actually walked in. He's got his back against almost back against the bushes, so he's hidden. And they, <laughs> whoops, excuse me, excuse me. And they were all behind him. There's like 12 people all watching him. You know, it's kind of a funny sight. Well, he had to be there. Anyway, let's get back to painting. <laughs> All right, I want this to be a little more green on this side. So we're going to make the brush strokes a little more interesting. I'm going to break up some of the uh, some of the areas with some brushwork. I'll tell you, the weather is just fabulous today, just the best. It'd be a good weekend to come in town. I don't know. How was the weekend? The weather looking any good, Bob? No? Uh, rain on Saturday. Rain on Saturday. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well for Patriot Place. Well, uh, I'd probably set up somewhere, um, you know, undercover. Have you, you've been there, haven't you? You've been there, that big shopping complex there? That's pretty nice. Maybe a little light, but that's okay. We're going to leave that. Just to get the eye to go in there and check out what's going on and move out again. Ugh, horrible color. Let's see. I just want to make this disappear. I don't think I'll do anything with it. All right, a little more in this area. How are we doing for time? Pretty good? Yeah, plenty. Couple hours left. Ah, that's not bad. Hey, hey oh wow. <laughs> no drool on your foot. <laughs> See the size of that dog? Whew. Woof. Alright, here we go. Details, details. But in this case it should should work out well. <laughs> 